Hi, hello there YouTube and welcome to a Random Reviews. I am Random Ross and today I am reviewing Planes, Trains and Automobiles. Yes, a comedy classic written, directed and produced by John Hughes starring Steve Martin and John Candy. So this is a comedy where two strangers uh, you know, named Neil played by Steve Martin and Dell played by John Candy who are both in New York and you know Neil wants to get home in time uh, to Chicago to be with his family on Thanksgiving and you know along the way he runs into this character named Dell played by John Candy and they end up tagging along um, you know because you know, John Candy being the kind spirited person he is and feeling bad for stealing his cab in New York um, he you know, feels like he should at least give him a, a motel room for the night and so many hilarious things unfold in there in the motel like you know, when Neil uh, and uh, Dell get burgled and robbed in their sleep and they wake up in the bed the next morning and you know Dell's hand is between two pillows not pillows his bum and then you know for Neil Steve Marty's character everywhere he goes it's a living disaster for him and he just wants to get home in time for Thanksgiving and he keeps ringing to Dell and you know that's first you know Neil hates Dell and Dell being the nice guy he is stays you know, he's a nice guy and um, you know throughout the film eventually friendship builds you know when when their flight gets delayed or cancel you know their flight gets like delayed or, or something due to bad weather so they go from taking planes they go on a train then they rent out an automobile and there's a, another scene as well, which I think is funny, where they're between two lorries and, you know, they're like, tss, sparks are coming from both sides of the car. And at one point, it goes a bit cartoony, like on a drugs trip. Uh, they, we see their skeletons and for some reason, John Candy is the devil. Uh, yeah, that's one of the most cartooniest moments in the movie. Uh, but yeah, I like the sweet message it sends as well, you know, because... It's like, you know, John Candy, despite him being a happy, cheerful person, he actually is quite, you know, he, his life is pretty sad and lonely, you know, because we find out that his wife has been dead for eight years and he doesn't really have a home. He's a travel salesman selling shower curtain rings and, you know, they become good friends and, you know, Neil even invites him to his home for Thanksgiving which is a nice sweet ending now there was originally an alternate ending where Neil goes home and Dell he like sort of follows him and we see Neil having his Thanksgiving dinner and Dell looking through the window all sad I'm glad they didn't go with that ending I really am because you know it, it's a perfect good ending to a good comedy film um, Yes, uh, but so let's get on to my likes and dislikes. First of all, I love the comedy in this. You know, the way Steve Martin is a grumpy, up his ass man and just won't, and he's trying his best to tolerate Dell. Uh, and Dell is just cheerful and funny throughout, and they both make quite the good comedic duo in this movie. Uh, this was also a different for John Hughes. Now John Hughes in the 80s was known for writing coming of age comedies and dramas like you know like um, you know The Breakfast Club and stuff and uh, this was a you know I think a different change for him. Uh, he wrote this film and did it great. He directed it great and wrote it and he's given us many other comedy classics like Uncle Buck, Home Alone. You know he, he knows what he you know he, he does good comedies. You know, he's a great filmmaker, uh, and I like this one. It is a classic, and I enjoy, you know, John Candy and Steve Martin's performances in this, and the friendship their characters develop throughout the film. Uh, I also liked the score and the soundtrack in this. This had a good score, especially with, like, 
Dell's theme when he gave that speech about him saying he likes me and you know he's not letting you know he's not gonna let you know Neil get him down just because he's been snappy and arsy with him um, and I also you know I just I just love the the soundtrack and the theme music and uh, and it's and the score it's got such a great score and it's so memorable and so 80s and I like it you know the, the score I find moving you know, I really do. It's quite a moving soundtrack, and I, I really like that. Uh, I just love this film all round. Now, in the UK, in England, we don't have Thanksgiving, but we, we I know what it's about, what it's like, you know. Uh, and this is a, a nice movie. Uh, I, like I say, I enjoy it. It's a fun film. Uh, this film is, in the UK, a 15. Although, nowadays, I think it's dropped down to a 12. Now, the whole film would have been a PG, if that if it weren't for that one scene where Steve Martin wants a car, he, he, there's a scene where he's had to walk to the airport through the you know the slush and the snow at this rental company that accidentally put him in the wrong car lot place, and he says, "Get me a fucking car right fucking now." And the woman there, she like goes, "Oh, you're fucked." That if it weren't for that scene, the film would have got a, a PG rating, and John Hughes insisted that it stays in there. There is a edited TV version of that scene where he just goes, "Get me a car right now," um, but I can see you. Know, it's a lot more funnier when he swears for some reason. Uh, but uh, I watched this on TV the uh, yesterday, and um, yeah, I watched that. It had that bit in it. Other than that, it had the re the rest of the film. It, it had all the other stuff that I remember in it. You know, I can't forget that whole scene where you know Dell's singing along to Ray Charles and mess around whilst they're driving, and you know they accidentally go on the wrong side of the road and then they're scraping between two lorries. <laughs> I like that scene. It's funny. I even got referenced in Family Guy once when Brian and Stewie was on a helicopter. <laughs> Yeah, this is a fun comedy. I don't think I've got anything to dislike about it. It's a feel-good film. It's, you know, a comedy. It's a film about friendship. You know, how two strangers can become good friends. And, you know, it's a great road journey film. Uh, now, they're about... I heard that they're about to remake this film with uh, Will Smith and Kevin Hart. With those two in it... Uh, I guess it'll be worth checking out, but I, I don't think a remake's really necessary because this film's as good as it is. It's got no sequels to it. It's just a great 80s film and I really enjoy it. I watched it with my dad and mum, my mum and dad, many years ago. Uh, and, you know, I loved it then and I watched it like very recently and I still love it now. So my ratings for this movie, I am going to give Planes, Trains and Automobiles, do you know what, the hell with it, I'm giving it, it, it makes me feel good, it's a feel good film as well, I'm giving it a 5 out of 5 for Planes, Trains and Automobiles, so there it is, there's your review, there's my ratings, have you seen this one, let me know down in the comments below if you have, if you like this video be sure to give it a big thumbs up, share with your friends, Feel free to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and to hit that notification bell. All my social media links are linked down below in the description. I have a horror channel and a Who channel. If horror or Doctor Who, you know, if you love them as much as I do, they're linked in the cards above or down below. Feel free to check them out. Anyway, yeah, that's it for this one. I've been Random Ross. This has been a random review. And until next time, I bid you all the goodbye friends, goodbye.